Hi everyone, it's Amanda and I'm so excited to finally be sharing with you the summer two girls and a kit kit that I pulled together and all of the supplies. Um, I was going to wait a little bit later to do this, but I'm to be honest, I would just want to get started scrapping with it so bad that it's killing me and I can't do that until I film this video. So, real quickly, I'm just going to take you through um, all the supplies that I pulled together. Two things really quickly that I want to mention. One is that as I'm going through my kit, you will notice that there are some things that do not follow the kit exactly. Um, for example, I have more than 10 packs of embellishments. And the reason for that is one, this is um, going to be the kit that I used to create a mini album. And so I felt like I needed a little bit more. And then two, this is just a suggestion. You don't have to follow this, this recipe. Um, verbatim. It can be your interpretation. So sometimes you may need more than three cardstock if you use cardstock as a base for your scrapbooking pages or um, you may be really into specialty paper so you may want more than two. It's totally up to you. Um, this is your kit. This is your design. It's it's your inspiration. So um, I'll, I'll point out that I do have more things in here than the sketch calls for and that's okay. Um, the other thing that I want to mention is that I have um, more stamps than it calls for. This calls for one full set and I have one full set and then a couple mini sets. And I also am using a lot of stuff from the Project Life Studio Calico kits that I have because I haven't really used them up for Project Life and I want to make sure that I'm getting through them and getting my money's worth out of it. So a lot of stuff that I'm going through you'll see is Studio Calico. And I will link to as much of the product as I can as I'm doing the process videos. Um, but some of it is only available through the kits, so I can't guarantee that you'll be able to find it anywhere, but um, I'll try to link to as much as I can. So to go ahead and get started, the first thing I have with my kit are the, um, the printables, and you can get these on our blog, either on my blog, I'll link down below, or you can go to Carrie's blog. We have the recipe card, we have the mood board, the, um, the mini sketch that I created, and I'll talk about this here in just a little bit, and then the journaling cards that I can't wait to use. Um, so I've got these all ready to go. I have a feeling I might be printing multiple copies of this because there's a couple of these that I can see myself using not just in my mini album but also on a page that I have planned. So we'll see how that goes. But I have those. I did go ahead and print off, I'm not going to show them to you yet, but a couple of pictures. I've just got a stack of pictures here, two or three, that I know that I want to scrapbook. And then the next thing that I have um, that Carrie and I both talked about is a mini album. And this is the We Are Memory Keepers 4x4 mini album in grayish. It's this beautiful gray slash beige color. There's no other way to describe it. And I got mine at Hobby Lobby. It was $9.99. I did use my 40% off coupon with it. And it already comes with several page protectors. You've got some that are um, sectioned off so you can do four 2x2 two two photos or journaling cards. And then there's a full photo or full sheet protectors. So I got that. While I was there I went ahead and picked up two refill packages. So I have the, again, the divided and the full sheet. And these were only $2.49 a piece, so it comes with 10. So for $5, you're getting 10 extra page protectors. So I thought that was a great deal. All right, so on to my main kit. The um, This little jar, some of these things you're going to see uh, kind of carry over from the last kit. And that, again, is totally okay. I pulled it because I loved it. I didn't use it. Part of my goal this year was to use up as much of my stash as possible without buying new. Um, and I've done really well with that so far this year. And so I'm just continuing with that theme. So some of the things like these enamel dots you've seen before, some of the die cut cards or um, cut apart cards. This is from the Glitz Whatnot, the Carpe Diem. These flare are from Studio Calico. I've got a gold doily. And then just some whatnots. I have some wood veneer in there, some flare, um, some little die cut labels, just things that I thought would fit. Because this is a summery kit, I did kind of pull towards um, starry skies, constellation, things like that. So, all right, the stamp sets that I am using, um, I don't know the name of this one because I'll try to find it, but Carrie actually sent me this. This was one of her older stamp sets that she wasn't using anymore, and since we went camping for our vacation, she kind of racked this to me, and um, 
I love it. I can't wait to use it. So this is a full set that I'll be using. But I went through my Project Life Studio Calico kits and I pulled some others out. This is called Splendid Fins. Splendid Fins, I think is the name of this. And I love this little box down here because it says see above for details and then there's a place for the date and then you can stamp in any of those words. And then this is the Kelly Perky stamp set from the July kit. I love this We Are Made of Story stamp. And then adventure number whatever. I could, I'm definitely, I have plans for this for journaling spots. And then I have a cool background planned using these triangle shapes. And this is uh, from Paisley Press and Studio Calico. And again, I'll try to link any of these up that I can. All right, I have this washi tape, which also came, I think this was in the July kit as well. And this is just tickets, but it has the days of the week on it. Let's see if I can unroll it here. Actually, it's not really washi, it's more like adhesive stickers so that's kind of cool but I can definitely see myself using that. I have some glassing bags, glassing bags however you want to say them that I thought that I could try to incorporate into my mini album in a fun way. I have these Heidi Swap stickers. They're uh, I don't know what they are. I've used up quite a bit of them but they're just like silver script word stickers. These came in a Project Life kit. You've seen those from last month. Carrie also sent me this quite a while ago, and the colors are perfect, so I grabbed this up. It's Whatnot um, from Glitz again, and it's the Color Me Happy. And there's all these great, I love this elephant one, I love the Hello, I love this little banner circle pennant thing. I can't wait to use this. Come back to this. I've got some Dear Lizzie accent sticker books that I want to use up. Things like this one. Um, a few others, I've got that. This is also Dear Lizzie. I have a fun layout designed with these rub-ons that I'm excited about. I have a couple of Amy Tan accent and phrase sticker books. Um, and I'm not entirely, I can't remember the names of the collections that these came with, but you've seen me use these plenty of times. I'm still trying to, to use those up and they the colors were great for the kit. I have these Alice and Crept um, mini craft bags. That I got a while back and I'm going to try to incorporate some of those. Some Studio Calico Cork Arrow and Chevron stickers. And then you've seen these before. I have the Whatnots um, and the Puffy Words from the 77 Glit Slime. The colors were great. In fact, this goes in here. I'm going to put this back in here before I lose it. And then I have some Stampin' Up! Um, these are just jewels, and I'm going to color some of these with some of my markers that I have. I have some Stampin' Up! Baker's Twine and Wisteria Wonder. These flares buttons came in a Studio Calico kit, these badges. Got some more asterisk stickers and this great ombre, the blue color from Studio Calico. And then this is from one of the Studio Calico Project Life kits, and it's just these die cut labels. And you know me and labels. If there's a label, I'm going to use it. For my alphabets, I did stick with three. We'll see. I've got kind of another little... Oh, I have one more embellishment thing. These are just some large wood veneer pieces. And there's one that's two by two in here. I'll get it out so you can see it. Maybe. And so that will slide perfectly right inside one of these spots like that. So I'm excited about using that. Um, okay, so then for alphas, I have uh, these rub-ons from Studio Calico. I'm sorry that so much of this comes from the kit, but like I said, I spend the money every month, so I want to make sure that I'm using it up. So white alphas, I have these Dear Lizzie thickers, the Fox font, or these great blue glittery ones. And then I have some basic gray, just plain white stickers. And I have a couple other of these pulled over to the side just in case I run out. I pulled back out the 77 6x6 paper pad because the colors were great for layering and definitely in my mini book. Um, can't get better than that when you're talking about camping. So, And then I have some Strathmore watercolor paper because you know me, I'm really into watercoloring right now. And so that's one of the techniques that I'm going to be doing again. 
I had this very large Heidi Swap 12 by 12 um, spray stencil that I got on clearance somewhere for like $1.79 it looks like. And I haven't used it yet and I have exactly the layout that I have in mind and I can't wait to use it so I'm excited about that. Probably be one of the first layouts that I do for process videos. And then I have some alphabet word and sticker sheets. I don't even know that I'm going to use all of these, but I did pull them out. And this is where you'll see that I'm going way beyond what called, was called for on the sketch, but that's okay. So I have the alphabet and word sticker sheet from 77 and glitz. I have the um, titles and accents sticker sheet. I have the titles and accents sticker sheet for Carpe Diem. This is from Photo Freedom Volume 2, and it was Echo Park. I'll try to find this, but this is pretty old, and I really just want it for these dates for my mini album. So, and then I have these, and there's only a couple things that I might use here um, if I use this at all. And this is from Everyday Eclectic by Allison Kraft, and this is from several years, well, 2012, so two years ago. So you might not be able to find this anywhere, but I found it at a scrapbook warehouse store, and I loved it. And then I have um, this sticker. It's from the Dear Lizzie Accents. This is my happy place. I definitely want to use that. I have the 77 cut parts. And then for my specialty papers, I have the um, watercolor paper and then this great grid uh, vellum from Studio Calico. It's just a circular grid. For my card stocks, I went a little off the beaten path. I still picked a white. I did stay true to the three here. I picked a white, and then I grabbed like a buttery yellow and um, and a I don't know what turquoise teal maybe color. So and I only I was fine with three because I, the, some of the pattern papers that I pulled I can definitely use as full sheet background. So I wasn't worried about that. Now this, were, these were some scrap pages that I pulled out because the colors were perfect or the theme fit my mini album. And so I'm counting these as one page because they're not full pages. This is the Happy Camper Stoop from Jelly Bean Soup. And it's part camping gear. I think it's super cute. I even love the back, but it's got these cute little campers. This is Hello Again by Caitlin Schaefer, Cartabella. And it's Stripes. These are perfect for the, co the colors in the mood board. And then this is from the same thing, and this is triangles. So it's still Cartabella Hello again. And then for my full sheets, I have um, this fabulous front with coordinating, or this is Feather from 77. And it's got this great um, diamond pattern and then this flowery heart pattern in the back. Also from, um, well this is actually from Basic Grey. This is Persimmon. I have this side which I might use but I'm really focusing more on this back um, for a full background page. And then this is from, I don't know, what, this is Allison Craft for Webster's Pages Sweets and Treats. And I'm going to use, I'm going to actually cut these apart and use them as borders. This I've been hoarding. It's from Maggie Holmes' Dreamy for Crate Paper. I've been hoarding this paper, and it's not going to get used if I don't use it now. And it's, gosh, that shows up so much. I mean, it's already gorgeous, but on the camera it shows up really pretty. Um, I have plans for this. Big, big plans. And it fit the colors in the mood board perfectly, so I grabbed it. And then this is that same Glitz Color Me Happy. And, uh... So I've been hoarding this as well, and it just fits perfectly. So, all right, the only other things that I pulled, and it's more from a technique standpoint than anything else, I have some stencils that um, I'm using. This is the, what's this one called? It's My Favorite Things, Abstract Petals. And then I have a Simon Says Stamp, dot, large, extra large dots. And this came in a kit, and I threw away the packaging, so I don't know what it's from. And I obviously used it and didn't clean it because it's gross, but that's okay. And it's just a Constellation Starry Sky themed stencil. So I've got that one. And then for products that I'll be using, like inks and things like that, I have this basket over here full of some distress markers that I just bought. Mini Misters, my um, Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. Mm -hmm. Whoop, sorry. Um... And then I've got some my embossing paste, my Wendy Vecchi embossing paste, and then just various Tim Holtz mini 
um, ink pads and then I've got a couple full size ink pads in here in various colors and I'm not going to go through the colors now um, because I'll link up the specific colors that I use within my post for the for this kit. So um, I'm really excited. I My girls are still sleeping. I've gotten lucky so I'm probably going to stop recording this and go straight into a layout. I have two other layouts that are completely I will want to lay out and one is a card, a um, like a 3x4 card that I'm going to get uploaded this week. And then, um, I don't know guys, I'm feeling good. I am feeling good about this kit. I felt good about the last one, but this one has just totally inspired me in a totally different way. So, um, I can't wait to get started. So, don't forget Instagram, you can do hashtag two girls in a kit. We would love to see pictures of your kits, what you're doing with them. Um, you know, just share, share, share. I can't express it enough because it, it inspires us, it motivates us, and we love to see that we're helping you guys to pull from your stash, pull things together, and inspire yourself. Because sometimes our greatest inspiration comes from within. It doesn't come from Pinterest, Facebook, our friends. It comes from inside our own souls, deep down. So um, reach deep down in there, pull up some inspiration, pull together some pretty things, and let's document our lives, okay? All right, I will talk to you guys later. See you soon. Bye-bye.